Come into my kitchen and watch me make some homemade Russian dressing. Oh yeah, if you guys got some Reuben sandwiches and you wanna make some authentic classic Reubens, follow this homemade Russian dressing recipe. Oh yeah. So these are your ingredients and let's get started. All right, you guys, so I'm going to be making Russian dressing and the Russian dressing I'm going to be making is for a Reuben sandwich, a classic Reuben sandwich. So let's get started. First, you're going to need some mayo. So we have Hellman's here. You can use pretty much any type of mayonnaise. We just happen to have Hellman's. We're going to use a half a cup of mayonnaise. Okay. Half a cup of mayonnaise. We're going to use three tablespoons of ketchup. Let's do one, two, Three tablespoons of ketchup. Gotta get some more ketchup. Okay. And then we're going to use two tablespoons of horseradish. Okay. We got one and two. All right. And then with that, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. We got one, two, okay. And then we need one tablespoon of granulated sugar, but we're only gonna put one teaspoon in here. You can always add later. So I'm just gonna put one teaspoon of granulated sugar. And then I'm gonna put a quarter teaspoon of paprika, and that's just for color. Okay. I'm gonna give it like a maybe th two sprigs of the sea salt. One, two, three. Okay. And last but not least, y'all, some black pepper. Give it about a little dash of black pepper. There we go. All right. Now we're gonna give it a little mixy mix. And we're gonna refrigerate for about 30 minutes. But if you guys want to save, you have extra leftover, you can probably refrigerate this for about a couple months. And that was so simple. Russian dressing, y'all. Oh, let's taste it. Mm. Very good. All right. There you are. Russian dressing. Oh.